Hi, everybody. How are you? I have taught you how to download Photoshop in the last episode. And install it on the computer as well. This time I will teach you some basic operations of Photoshop. Because before we learn image cutout, we must know a little simple operation skills. For example, the application of tools, color choice, document preservation, etc. Let's start learning now. First of all, we have to open the Photoshop application software. You can open it in Creative Cloud. Or click directly on the Windows menu. I maximize it to full screen. Let's open a new file first. Click File. Select and click New. Choose a suitable size of the background. Click Create. This is equivalent to finding a piece of white paper of different sizes to draw on. Drag the horizontal and vertical sliders around. You can move the entire picture or background horizontally or up and down. You can draw something over here. Click Brush Tool. Randomly draw some strips or shapes on the background. You can fill it with a paintbrush. The thickness of the brush can be changed at here. Another one is the pencil tool. It's used to draw hard edged of brush strokes. The thickness of the pencil can also be changed at here. This tool is called Color Picker. You can use it to convert different colors. Choose your favorite color at here. Then press OK. It will draw the color you need. You can also use this marquee tool to delineate the areas that need to be dealt with. For example, select this part of the line. Press the delete key on the keyboard to delete it. In addition, you can also click on this eraser tool. Wipe off the unwanted part. The size of the skin is also changed at here. I want to choose another color now. Draw an apple. Right click paint bucket tool. Use this tool to instantly fill the whole apple with color. I demonstrate again. Right click elliptical marquee tool. Pick an ellipse on the background. Click paint bucket tool. Fill the elliptical area. Now I want to copy an apple. Right click and select rectangular marquee tool. Set the scope of copying apples. Choose copy from the edit menu. Find another location. Choose paste from the menu. An apple will be copied. If you want typing text on the background, right click horizontal type tool. Type some text over here. You can adjust the size of the text at here. You can also use the color picker to change its color.
or right-click and select Vertical Type Tool. Type the font in vertical direction. In addition, this hand tool can move the entire background image in any direction. And this tool can enlarge the area you selected. The range of the rectangular marquee is selected too little. So I only see a blank area. You can set a larger range to be magnified. If you want to enlarge the entire background image, you can hold down Ctrl plus plus. On the contrary, if you want to shrink the entire background image, just hold Ctrl minus minus. The next thing to teach you is the crop function. Select the area you want to crop. Select in the edit menu and click crop. It will cut out an empty square hole in the background image. It's like you cut a hole in a drawing paper. If you want to restore, you can press Ctrl Z on the keyboard. If you don't know how to use those functions, you can find it in the help menu. Here are some tutorials to teach you how to use. You can also follow its instructions. Internship step by step. In addition, I want to tell you a very important concept. It is the layer. What I drew just now is a background image. Which is the bottom layer. There can be different layers in Photoshop. Take this picture as an example. On the surface it looks like a picture. Actually it is composed of several different layers. We can follow its instructions. Turn off some layers. I will explain in detail in the next video why layers are so important on image cutout. Don't miss it. Okay. That's it for learning about painting. Now open another file from the file menu. Click this tool. Enlarge it first. Let me introduce briefly the entire Photoshop panel. On the left side are some very important tools. Mainly used for drawing. Marquee. Type text. Change colors, etc. The above menu contains various functions. It's impossible to learn every function. For us beginners, we know a little bit is enough. In addition to some functions on the right side, some status are also shown. For example, the status display of the layer also includes some historical records. What have you done before? For example, I have opened a file, drew things with a pencil. Wiped things off with a eraser, etc. It will be displayed one by one. I am using the latest version of Photoshop CC 2021. It adds some more user-friendly features. For example, when you select a tool. Most of the tools have animation display. It shows you how to use it. If you still don't understand. You can click learn more at the bottom right. It has a very detailed explanation. Make you more clear. In addition, Photoshop can open many different files at the same time.
you can switch to a different file at here anytime. Now I teach you some other functions. I will definitely use it during image cutout. Open this file first. We want to select the image of this kid. Right click and select quick selection tool. Plus sign means push from inside to outside. The size of the tool can be changed at here. Continue to push from the inside to the outside. Be slow and careful. OK. Part of the range is pushed too far. We switch to the minus sign above here. Minus means push from outside to inside. Push along its dotted line from the outside to the inside. This is almost done. Try to make it more perfect. Switch back to the plus sign. Select his hair outward. Try to be more refined. The portrait has been selected. Now I want to delete the portrait. But you see that this layer is locked. Can't just delete. So you have to click here and unlock first. Then press the delete key on the keyboard. The portrait will be deleted. If you want to restore, you can press Ctrl Z on the keyboard. Now I'm going the other way. Remove its background. Then you can right click on its selection area and select Select Inverse. The entire background will be selected. Unlock it before deleting. Then press the delete key on the keyboard. The entire background will be deleted. Besides, you can also change its background. Click the color picker. Choose one of the colors. Press OK. Then select paint bucket tool. Click within the selection. The entire background is replaced. If you like, you can also copy the scenery of other pictures. The next thing I want to introduce is how to repair the color. The color of the repaired skin is very important in image cutout. I can make this kid's skin whiter or darker. You know what this tool is used for when you see this animation. It's to brighten the dog's fur. You can use this tool to lighten its skin tone. Right click here and select Dodge Tool. Scan his skin evenly within the selection area. You can see that the scanned area will become lighter. Conversely, you can also make his skin darker. Right-click and select Burn Tool.
scan his skin again. His complexion will become darker. Be careful. Don't scan his eyes. Otherwise, the color of the eyes will become darker. It looks like this after scanning it out. Of course, some parts of the photo are affected by the brightness of the light. Even after sketching, it won't turn black. If you don't like this skin tone, you can even change it to another color. For example, I only change the skin color of his face and neck. Right click and select Quick Selection Tool. Select his face and neck area. Then click the color picker. Choose the color you want. Press OK. Skin within the selection area. He will become the color you want. Isn't it amazing? There is one last thing. Just now I taught you to hold down control minus minus. Zoom out the whole picture. Or press control plus plus. Enlarge the whole picture. This method is a step by step to zoom in or zoom out. This method is not so convenient on cutouts. When cutting out, you often need to zoom in or zoom out the picture for modification. Levels of zooming in or out are not appropriate. I teach you another more convenient method, which can zoom in or zoom out continuously. Hold control mouse wheel. Just turn the scroll wheel in the middle of the mouse back and forth. The picture will continuously zoom in or zoom out. It's very convenient. Dear friends, what I introduced this time are some basic Photoshop operations. It's simple and practical. Once you learn these basic operations, you will be able to cope well when you cut out pictures. In the next video, I will explain some of the essentials and techniques of image cutouts. See you again. If you think my video is done well, then please give me a like. Leave a comment by the way, help to subscribe my channel, and open the jingle next to it. And share out the video. Thank you all. Goodbye.